Be bold in God. Isaiah 50 and verse 7. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I will not be ashamed. This is wonderful for us to know that the Lord God will help us. And therefore we know we will not be disgraced. Therefore we know we will not be humiliated. Therefore we know we are not going to be abandoned, forsaken, uh, or put to a place of shame. And so uh, Isaiah says here, I have set my face like a flint. That means I have set my eyes on my target. I'm looking forward. Uh, nothing is going to shake me. I am focused. I'm determined. I'm going forward. I've set my face like a flint because I know I will not be ashamed. You see, when we are, are confident in God, that you and I can come to this place when we are so bold in our God that when we take steps, when we make decisions, we know that we will be helped by God. And therefore, we know we're not going to be put to shame. We're not going to be ashamed. And we can set our face like a flint. We say, look, I'm staying this course. I know the way I'm taking because God is my helper. God is with me and I know I will not be ashamed. There is a verse in the Old Testament that is quoted often in the New Testament. From Isaiah 28, it's quoted in several places in the New Testament. It says, behold, I lay in Zion a cornerstone, a chief cornerstone, a precious stone. And the New Testament quotes it like this, He who believes in Him will not be put to shame. He who believes in the Lord, this chief cornerstone, that is Jesus Christ Himself, this precious cornerstone, he who believes in Him will not be put to shame because the Lord is your salvation, because the Lord is your helper. And we put our trust in God <clears throat> by just trusting His Word. Uh, the psalmist said in several places in Psalm 119, and I will uh, quote a few in Psalm 119, in verse 6, he says, Then I would not be ashamed when I look into all your commandments. Psalm 119 and verse 46, he says, I will speak of your testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. In other words, he's saying, God, I'm looking at your word. I will speak your word. Your testimonies means your word. I will speak your word even before kings, meaning people in authority, great, in great position, people of great influence. I will speak your word and will not be ashamed. Why? Because this word is God's covenant. This word is, is what I put my trust in. And I have so much confidence in that word. I can speak that word even before kings. And I know I will not be ashamed. So be bold in God because he is your helper. Be bold about his word because his word will not fail and God will not fail his promise. You can speak it, you can be bold about it, knowing you will not be put to shame. Be bold in your God. Be bold about his word, about his promise. Hold on to it. You will not be ashamed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can be bold about you, bold about your word because you are our helper, that we can set a face like a flint, knowing we will not be ashamed. And we who believe will not be put to shame. Thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.